just returned from the little airport tour. Uh, and the other things I believe is that we have to go through the assessments on the city properties and make a decision. Uh, so, So we're just talking about the estimated property tax 2023 add and add on. Right. We would add on the 23 estimated and the and the specials in each town. Right? Change the new minimum sales. Oh, and the special. So the thought process with that is only if they sell at the auction. If they don't sell at the auction, then after that you're going to be lucky to just get rid of the property. Well, so the you know, there's another way of looking at this. So let's say the owner for the one, let's say Lynn City. Mm -hmm has a friend that comes in to the auction and buys a property back for her or relative. By not having the 23 specials and and um, property taxes on there, they could buy without paying them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Right, but they're still gonna end up getting at least the minimum sale price and some money coming in. I mean, it's like- So they, the way it is now, Right. If these owners would have somebody come in and buy this property, they would get it for what you guys set the price last month. And the 2023 would be wiped away. Mm -hmm. But you guys adding that 23 onto the minimum sale price, at least they have to pay them. Right, but I mean, you know, if you were to collect most of it instead of all of it, I mean, it's better than nothing too, so. Right? I know. <clears throat> I mean, all I, the only trouble I have is if you put this minimum sale price with these specials on there, and it, it's your likelihood of selling them is going to decrease. I mean, because if you did that as the minimum sale, it's like, I mean, you have this house here that with the specials and the delinquent taxes at sixty eight hundred dollars. Well, if you would get three grand for it, isn't that better than not selling it? You understand what I'm saying? I do. I mean, because. I do understand. Because you're going to recoup the losses. Second of all, it's out of the county's hands again, which is what we don't want to be holding property. So, right. I guess in my opinion, I think I would just leave it as it is and just hope yeah. that they move. I don't know. I mean, seventy percent of something's better than all or nothing. How long do they stay out there like this? What is it? Two, three years? At this price, yeah, it used to be where we couldn't change it until the next year when you appraise it again. Oh, the next but the year. law changed now. If somebody would come in and say, "I'm going to offer you five hundred dollars," I could come to you guys at the next meeting and you could lower that price now. Oh, if somebody offered it, then we decided to help it. Yeah, like after the sale, if nobody buys at the sale, they come in in October, or excuse me, in December, and say, "I'll pay five hundred dollars for this." It. You yeah. guys could do. You could change that price before the law was that you couldn't for a whole year. Well, I guess because my thought process is, is the people owning the houses, getting back into them is the best case scenario if they buy them back at the auction or have someone buy it back for them. If you increase the price, you increase the likelihood of them not getting it back. I mean, no matter what, the number one goal is for it to get out of the county tax rolls, out of the hands of the county and onto the tax rolls again. So I feel like increasing the prices just might not be worth the risk. I think I'd rather keep them lower and increase the likelihood of them transferring to either <laughs> either back to the current owners or to someone else and not have us have to worry about, because most likely if nobody buys it, the alternative generally is the house gets destroyed. I mean, really, I mean, somebody's probably gonna buy them if they're decent enough, but yeah. I'd take the chance that someone buying them for 2,500, then nobody doing it because it's too high and then coming back and wanting to buy for 500 later. So I guess my opinion is I would leave the specials and stuff off just for the likelihood of someone buying it. The chances of these owners coming back and paying for it, we'll just let it go to Lincoln again, I'm sure, and then we'll have all these fees and everything else. I know, but I mean, at the, <laughs> at, at the same time, I mean, the goal is to get these houses lived in most likely, you know, I mean, if the county has them, we we're not going to rent them out or do nothing, so then what happens? We usually end up selling them dirt cheap to somebody anyway or giving them away or whatever. <laughs> So yeah. I think you're not out. Uh, you're you're increasing the chance of having a crappier situation by adding another thirteen hundred or five hundred to something that you might not even get already. Yeah, it's up to you guys. I know um, I have one city out of here that you know they would like the specials. Check into it because so they right. can recoup their money should the house sell. I get it, but in a situation where people already supposedly or obviously aren't affording it, increasing it to try and recoup those funds is just lowering your chances of getting any funds. 
That's what I think. I think she was saying if it would sell, you know. Well, oh, I get would. that. And you know what? If it does, if so, here's a okay. So let's say we don't incorporate the specials and the minimum sale price, right. but we get above that price anyway. So like this one house, twenty six forty was the minimum price we sell. Right. Thirty seven seventy six is what the specials and the estimated taxes would be. Let's just say you get four thousand dollars for it. You still pay all those things back then. No, if we get four thousand for it, anything over that twenty six forty eight goes back to the other people. Goes back to the previous owner. They have ninety days to come in and claim right. that money. And so if they we, don't come in and claim it, I have to send it to the state unclaimed property. And so the only way the cities would get it would be as if it went for that price, yeah. and we already had it in there earmarked. Then they would get their specials. Right. But if not, if you get that same amount but you didn't claim the specials, then you can't go get them. So like if. We would get twenty six forty for that house. Yep. First thing I do with that money is I have to apply it towards the specials. Mm -hmm. So all the cities get off their specials. After that, I apply it to the oldest tax. Sure. So we would get shorted technically, and the city still gets their specials. Yeah. You were trying to put the specials on, well, so the city's got theirs plus us. Well, the price that you guys have now, we would recoup the three years taxes and the specials. Right. But. Um, let's say you would only have one up like two thousand dollars. Cities would get their specials, then we pay off the oldest tax, and after that, everything just gets abated, it gets right. written off. But I know, but even in the long run, if you want to talk about it, it's cheaper than us managing a property. Yeah. yeah. Like so, I mean, in my mind, adding to that price and increasing it is only going to increase the likelihood nobody buys it. Okay. So I would leave it off and just keep them where they're at. Yeah, okay. yeah that's fine. I mean, that's my opinion. I just I feel like if you add another thousand dollars to a house that maybe nobody wants, then you're definitely. And all of a sudden, we end money. up with it, and we got to take care of it. I'd rather take twenty five hundred than zero. I mean, if that was so. Right. I'd say let's just leave them as they are. Okay. And forward all hate mail to the auditor's office. She'll make sure I get. Do what? <laughs> forward all hate mail to the auditor's <laughs> office, and she'll make sure I get. I don't know if anybody's gonna care. Um. Okay, so with that being solved, the only other thing was the miscellaneous items, which was the building permits. Josh, you got? No, they're right beside Gary. I laid them beside Gary. Okay. You didn't have nothing to bring up, no issues with anything? Or? Yeah, first one, if that's why I don't look at remodels. Oh, they're just remodeling the current, yeah. Right. Um, you got all three of them, just well, I mean, if there's because building permits all three. I think it's three. Yeah, Grew and built there. Chris and Paul Argo that are remodeling the house. And Mike Abbott. Building permits for John Grunfeld that's a full building. Moving in a full building. Yep. Yeah. Yard going to be set back right at 125. That's the minimum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. Adverts. The R put a big shop and it's the highway is 125 as well. So he's gonna be right at that. All three of them are okay then? Yep. I'll make a motion to approve all three building permits. Or second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the three building permits, one for Mike Abbert's shop, another one for John Grunfelder's pole building, and another one for Chris Weigel's remodel. Everything looks good, no issues. Is there any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor, say so saying aye. 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 Opposed? Permits approved. And we have a joint powers agreement for provision, for provision of emergency management services for Burley County and Emmons County. My assumption this is Mary Singer's yep. joint powers agreement. Any changes that you know of? Or? No, she left everything the same. I'd say that, what, 1500 Yep. Base pay 1500 One year contract? Yep. I'll make yep. it effective January 1 of 2024 and terminating December 31st, 2024. So it looks like it's the same agreement, much word for word that we've always been running with him. So I'll make a motion to approve the second. We have a motion and a second for the approval of the joint powers agreement for provision of emergency management services with Mary Sanger and Brewer County. Is there any more discussion? Not hearing any, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Agreement approved. The item number three is quick claim deeds um, for that Clark property, two parcels that were tax delinquent. Um, they, so the um, deeds turned over to the county from October 2nd. They come in and paid their taxes since then, so now you have to approve for the deeds to be turned back over to them from the county. So we're deeding it back to them because they came in and paid? Yep. Okay. Joe, did you draft these? I just reviewed them. Or, okay, yeah. so you looked over them at least to check them out. Everything's still here. Yeah. Okay. Will you notarize? I think he has to notarize their signatures, right? I don't know. I will, yeah, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have a motion to approve, table, or deny the quick claim deed for uh, David and Tania Clark. It's for that property in Hague <clears throat> on the uh, West End town. Westfield. 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 West of Westfield. I'll make a motion to approve both. Okay. Commissioner Holm makes a motion to approve both quick claim deeds for the clerks. Because there was two parcels, right? There was the parcel yes. the house was on, and there was like another lot next yes. to it or something? Okay. Do we have a second to that motion? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Miller. Any more discussion on the quick claim deeds? From Westfield. Not hearing any. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Deeds approved. Yes. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Uh, tax abatement for parcel 38-0000-01280-009. What that's about, that's Dan Carr's house done by Rice Lake. Okay, so it's just he like came a... in and requested a reassessment. Wayne went out and reassessed it and lowered it down to six and nine, lowered it by six and nine thousand nine hundred. So now we have to issue because it's not completed basically right. and stuff too. So it, okay, it was right. over assessed. Well, it's completed. I it is completed because it doesn't have siding on right now, and there's a few other things. Okay. Motion to approve table or deny abatement for the car property down the right leg. I'll make a motion to approve. Motion to approve by Commissioner Holm. Is there a second? Yes, sir. Second by Commissioner Miller. Is there any more discussion? Not hearing any, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abatement approved. We can look at the flat or lot A, southwest quarter of section 33, township 133, range 78. 13 acres, so it's a sizable lot. It's supposed to be all right west of it. Uh, right by the grocery town dollars. Oh, yeah, so it's going so north into that yard. Yeah. And the south and everything about the yard. So, yeah, it all, it's all good. It's got easement going up into the Lots of okay, so they're just parceling off the property basically. Then, okay, everything seems to be in order. You didn't find any discrepancies, Josh? Yeah, somebody fixed it. Okay, it's all in. just recording issues, Martin. I'm assuming you know, I'm there because I need some valves. Oh, okay, and all that's taken care of. Yep, okay. No motion to approve table or deny the plat for Dwayne Olhausen. Everything's okay. Yep. I'll make a motion to approve. Commissioner Hall makes a motion to approve. Is there a second? Sorry. Seconded by Commissioner Miller. Is there any more discussion? Those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Plot approved. Next item is the Six County Commission meeting. It's December 12th here at the Emmons County Auditorium. I'll be here. Okay. I chose the auditorium instead of community center because my partner in crime, things going to be long for whatever. No, that's fine. The auditorium should be good. December 12th, what is that? Tuesday. At 10 o'clock. How long is that last? Eh, until noon-ish. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch. I'll try and make it. 
I should be able to make it. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. No, I'll be there. I think I'm the chairman should at least be there. Be here. Be here be here because I don't want to run it. You know, well, I should be. Something you know to me. Fence lines and who's responsible? No. <laughs> yeah. Last item on the deal is bills. Otherwise, the agenda is completed. I signed some of the books. I didn't think about it. I had my red pen off and I started signing stuff. I guess I can move a little. Did you sign your copy? I put it on the Sarah's chair is pretty big, sure. <laughs> That's probably why. What about these? You all want to send them back to them? I'll send them to Jane again. Yeah. Yeah. We charge the owner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like you're talking about the agent with the port. I think I need to sign the agent. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This easy answer because they are asking, asking the question is more complicated. Okay. <laughs> Mr. G. B. Mr. D. John D. Oh, right. Yeah, it's Paul. John Paul. Really? <laughs> What's indirect cost? Indirect costs. Just miscellaneous though. For um, human services. Oh, that's what. Yeah. Oh. Indirect costs means it only has to pay for the stuff it's not state. Okay. The work I wash costs thirteen dollars. Yeah, so quarters in there and and quarters. Yeah, it's a you got to carry old pocket full. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all stuck together. Yeah, it's just, it's just real confirmed there's nothing in it. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 I just put it for the Badlands, so oh, chance to get See, it wrong. See, every seven years? Well, I just started putting it for there. Oh, you did? Yeah. They usually still take four or five preference points to get seven, in there? Right now. Really? They're dropping by about half. It used to be where it says you lose five most of the time. Hey. Good morning, too. Veterans Day? Oh, veterans. Oh, veterans. Oh, I was thinking that. I think Veterans Day. Veterans is on a Saturday. It's on Saturday. It's a great day. It's closed on Friday again. Well, maybe the next day it's closed on Friday, too? I don't say. No. <laughs> it's twice as much work for this uh, week. We're going to be working all weekend this weekend, so well, it's too nice. It's the same, you gotta make the world sun shines, right there? Yeah. I don't want it anymore. Usually at night time with them. Oh, all apart. No, I uh, I told everybody we're working this weekend as nice as it is. We'll, yeah. we'll take a break when it starts snowing again. So oh we probably would have been caught up if that snow killed us there. We yes, yeah. put us back. We were yeah. pleased to, you know, be just busy. <laughs> now we're back to swamp because we lost a good week. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I lost a week of it. Oh, no. It's... Especially because October is such a productive month. There's no bugs. You know, like it's yeah, no a lot ticks. easier to work. Right. Everything's a little bit easier. So. 
Yeah, it hurts. I'm still cold from standing on the I thought that door was done at Hazelton. It wasn't yet. No, it wasn't done yet. It wasn't? I thought that was. Okay, because so what they did on the one, I didn't realize they were going to do this, but it was an awesome idea. So they took the old overhead door, because that had the push door, the pole doors on the other end. Since Midwest Doors was there, they took the old roll-up door, framed it out on that west end, and turned that into a roll-up door, and then put a new put door a new one in. On. I don't know if they finished it all <clears throat> up, because Skyler and John told me that one day they said it was going to be a little bit extra. So yeah, that's a great idea, because otherwise that door was going to go to waste. And those pull-apart doors were so miserable, heavy, and stupid. So now they, I don't know, I haven't been there since they worked on it again, but I was down there the one day, and they were framing out the other end to do a roll-up thing. So that was a smart idea, but I, I don't know. They might have not finished or might have had something. Well, they must have put it for 11 dollars Well, that was probably the, because the whole door, I think, was going to, that was actually pretty close to the price then. It was like 10 or 11 thousand, I remember. But that made that. They bid out for fuel. Or I think they call them gift bins. They do. Okay. I think they need at least two. I think John. Right. Yeah. I think they have the minimum is two they got to get. So. Well, we didn't have the two of them. It would have been. Yeah. We were actually on track. We didn't go over that far. Yeah. It started out bad, but. <laughs> Kind of back on track, I guess. Oh, so Dre, well, yeah, Francis would have took his time with that. That would have put his thoughts so. on. Because we were behind about a half hour at that point, so he would have taken it about a half hour. Yeah, I would have. So, yeah, it kind of helped out. And Brad showed up early, too, so we got in the way after that. So, yeah. It's nice when I get here early. So sassy. Signature card. Mm -hmm. Do people use the credit card? The credit card? Yeah. Derek Dr. Beach has one. Darren has one. Sparrow has one. Yeah. And then we have one in the uh -uh, portals you have to check out. John Ibox names on this, did he go up to Bismarck and hook this up then? No, he at least ordered it again, really, I don't know. Okay. There's a Martin Pension Center. I don't know. <laughs> You know what's really crazy? You don't even recognize most of the names on it. Or detaining people that were, I mean, I know one or two of them, right? Like the ones that, there's three people that were in for 30 days. I don't know any of those names. That's what's crazy when you're paying, paying money for people. Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, need help? I'll get in there. Yeah. Um, there no one's been in front of the camera. Huh? Where this water was. You there, sir? Oh, you did. Yeah. Did you really? Chairman told me I had to. Well, we had a quorum. We had to have somebody out there. And there was 30 people out there. I wasn't going to report it. And someone said, hey, you know, you're right. I'm going to report it. We thought there was a cooler about that. There wouldn't have been any uh, audio. Yeah, I thought there was a cooler about that. 40 mile an hour in Inzo out there. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, there was there wasn't any cooler on that day. <laughs> they just showed us a hangar and stuff. Gave us a plane ride. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I got on a plane in that room. There is no way. You missed out. 
I got motion cameras at the house. And I got alert if there was my garbage can going across the drive. No way. Yeah. I was working at somebody's house yesterday and they got a like motion sensor camera light thing. Every time it starts recording, it goes, You are now being recorded. <laughs> I've gone every time I lost my pickup, I had to hear that. And it's like, Oh, by the way, you guys are still being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No, is this for those low faces? Rubber bands. That's right. Yes, rubber uh, bands. Those concrete stabilization. That's how much it's on it. Yeah. Wow. Wasn't yeah. cheap. No, it wasn't. Wow. Did you go up to the Association of Commons Convention at all? You did? <clears throat> I did because they know. You know, they changed the meetings off from Sunday to Monday afternoon. Okay. That was the voting event then for the No, I just went to the uh I went to the DOT meeting. And then quite the crowd there though. And it was a it was a beautiful day. I shouldn't even have been at the DOT meeting, but I knew I better go. But man, it was nice so. yeah. I had a bunch I of stay overnight. I drove them every night. I had a bunch of junk to pick up in Bismarck anyway, so it kind of worked out. I went for me and grabbed a bunch of stuff. Some, you know, the new Secretary of State had a meeting at the Zephyr to discuss. I guess, you know, I haven't been here to give up on this. New sale. Why would we be getting fuel from New sale? What would that be? Oh, that's root oil. Oh, that's, oh, that's down here. Yeah. That's the base. Napa? Up there. Oh. Is that root oil? They're from, they're out in, I didn't know that. They're out in New Salem, huh? Yeah. But is it root oil on there? Yeah. 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 That's the thing. Oh, oh, I just see New Salem. Yeah, they actually have yeah, Napa here, yeah. Uh, that's why it's like, what the hell? Well, I can find two of them out of town either. Yeah. Yeah, technically they, uh, Clint and them are driving, I don't know the ownership structure, but they're, I know Clint's like the manager, and then I think Rude Oil actually right. technically runs or owns that oh, building okay. and stuff. Yeah. Is that the end? Mm hmm. This one, I got to sign this one, Aaron. Maybe a pill for me? Yeah. <clears throat> I actually forgot I did that. That's why I went around when I was pumping septic tanks before the snow when I went over. I think I did that one on Sunday. Yeah. Because I was out with the boat trying to get. Trying to, but that felt like that was like a year ago already. That was a that was yeah. a long month. <laughs> That's right. That was out of your place that right. day too. Yep. Craig had all the kids out there, slave labor, picking potatoes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's family fun day. Picking potatoes before it snows. <laughs> I remember that when Dad had his giant garden too, and then you'd hear snow, and you're like, "We gotta get out." We'd spend all day in the garden. Did you guys take them up by hand? Yeah, yeah. Hundred five dollars. How much? How many Oh, I have no idea. How many plants are working? <laughs> you guys have a lot of taters. I know that. Yeah. That trailer was full. Yeah. I have thirty plants. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure you've had 10 times as many. Yeah, it's probably pretty close to that. She freeze dried a lot of the little ones. Yeah. Did you do what you're doing? Both. We're not racist. <laughs> Did they believe that all colored potatoes matter. Everybody matters. I um I don't do red, but when I went to buy some this year, I messed up. I bought the white ones. 
didn't know it until we were talking to them. I said, he still looks like Rick with it. They grew just as good. They taste good. Mm. Do you need help with that dinner? I'm going to do it down here in the auditorium. Right. Um, the girls will, I'll, I'll get everything in the, I'll get everything ready and the girls will come and watch it. Do you want a couple pies baked or something? You don't know do all that. Oh, well, I just can't. <laughs> just asking. No, we usually just do some problems, just do a soup and salad. Maybe some cookies or something. I don't think I'm That's Myron Bush Bill. That was from the Beaver Bay Fund, yes. right? That was their you're just facilitating it. Okay. Well, they want us to put specials on that now, huh? <laughs> At least that's the email, the last email I read. Yes, so good. I haven't even, I mean, I, it's the first time for everything, but I don't know how that process all works. There's, there's an extensive process to do. A, you got to do a specials district. And then the one thing that I looked into is that, like, I don't believe the county can do the work on specials. You have to hire that out. So, like, if they want the county to maintain it, they think just adding specials will work. I don't think we can, like, you can't charge specials and then go in and do it. And, is there any, like, bonus and stuff like that? I, all I know is when I seen it that it said that the, um, I want to say it has some kind of language where, like, the entity that is doing the specials cannot do the work. So, like, I don't think we can, like, charge a special, then go in there and do the work ourselves. Like, we have to hire it out. That's like the accountability checks and balances thing. It has to be engineered, too. So I don't think you can do specials for maintenance. You have to do specials for, like, a project. So, so I, I mean, it sounds good that we're just going to charge specials, but it doesn't, I don't know if that would solve their problem. I mean, maybe it would, but you can't. From the way I read it, you can't charge specials, then go in for, like, blading and gravel. It has to be, like culverts, bridges, signs, you know, whatever. Like when they do a big, well, I'm sure you would, but I'm just saying like the little bit that I read it, it's usually a part of like an engineered contract and project. So I don't know. I don't think it's a silver bullet like some people are hoping for. I come for a baby here in seventeen seventy five. There's, is there something, there's going to be another. That was the one thing I had seen. I don't know if there was some other part with it, but I didn't. Was there anything else attached to that? No. There was another one that had it with that it had the paper in it was no that was with Wayne Ely, that lady that worked with him. So that was different, yeah. So I don't know what what that is. There's a voucher here. No. And that means that so but the things I do it is
Okay, so we'll scrap for that in the baby. If you want, yeah. Okay, I'm going to She's going to dump the sheet. Oh, so there was another part? No, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, it is only supposed to be. Yeah, she. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I think 80 here. She, she must have added somebody else with cable for that. Um, That's a good We'll change. It'll only be 80. Got more rubber bands down there? I threw them all in the box. Oh, there you are. She says she's going to bring it up. So uh, now we have to see some land or something or a ditch. Or uh, I'm scratched out. I just put it in. Okay. I think I wrote something. Oh, so, yeah. So, you're going to sell. an area where we borrowed some gear or something like that? Or? Oh, What's that? That's a strong gear. Yeah, the net. Oh, oh okay. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. No problem. Probably just the. Uh, it's you. probably just a mistake on the counter or something. Well, Mr. Chair, okay. I hate to rush. Well, if you want to make a motion to adjourn, because I'll make a motion to adjourn. The meeting is adjourned. I got to be up. To